Hello everyone, welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft Train Tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to build this fairly standard gondola car. So let's get to it. As usual I'm going to build it right on the train I already have. So take out a dark oak fence and place that right side up the opposite way coming off the coupler from the other train car. Underneath that we put a dark oak fence gate and that's our air hose. Then we take netherite and put it on the next block forward, erase the middle and put an axle. Now we have our wheels and axle. Then we place stairs upside down in a back to back T-shaped pattern. You can play around with the blocks and stairs to get whatever color trucks you want on your car. So once we have that, we switch back to netherite and put the next set of wheels and an end rod for an axle. Then we put hoppers on the outside of the wheels and fences on the inside on the stairs. And this will complete the design for the truck. Do that on both sides. Now we take polished diorite starting at the coupler in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. So when you're done it's twenty-seven blocks long. Under the end of this we build our other truck, so netherite for the wheels, erase the middle, and an end rod for the axle, switch back to whatever stairs you're using for your trucks, put them upside down, back to back in a T-shaped pattern, then we have to come over on the other side and extend it across, so that it's touching the other rail, then switch back to netherite, place one on each rail with an end rod in the middle for the other wheels. And same thing on the other side, hoppers on the outside of the wheels and fences in front of the stairs on both sides. And that completes the truck. Now we're going to do the other coupler, so switch back to dark oak stairs and get it lined up with that diorite block, erase the other two. And underneath that, dark oak fence for the air hose. So at this point, we should look something like this. Two sets of trucks with polished diorite in the middle going 27 blocks long. Now we're gonna come in with polished diorite stairs and right on top of the wheel, place them right side up going three high on each wheel. Then in the middle, come to the top with the blocks of polished diorite and then same thing on the outside. Start at the bottom and come up three. We come around and do the exact same thing on the other end of the car. So on top of the wheels, three high right side up stairs on each wheel, and then in the middle and the outsides, bring that up to match it up with the polished diorite blocks. Then we come in with our polished diorite blocks on the bottom middle here, and we're gonna fill this in, another one out on both sides so that the bottom of the car is three wide. So once we filled in the bottom of the car three wide, we're gonna do the outside walls. So we're gonna take a diorite wall, starting on this block here, and come up to the top. And we alternate that with blocks. And then another wall, another row of blocks. And we do the same thing, alternating all the way to the other end of the car. So we have one side of the car done, and it looks something like this. Then we do the same thing on the other side, starting in the corner with a diorite wall, and then just stacking them alternating between walls and blocks all the way down the side of the car. And now this side is done, and we have the basic shape of our gondola already. So now we're gonna come in on top with polished diorite slabs and we're gonna go all the way around all sides of the top edge here. And once you've brought it all the way around the top, the top of the gondola is done. Then we're gonna come on the side underneath with our same slabs 
and starting at the wheel come all the way across this bottom edge with slabs. And crumb right to the wheel with it. Then we move over to the other side of the car and we do the exact same thing. So on the bottom edge, starting from wheel to wheel, fill it all in with slabs on that outside. Now we're basically done with the gondola, we're just going to add detailing. So on the left hand side on the top, I'm going to knock out the first three blocks and fill them in with gold. This just represents a logo. Then we're going to come around and do the exact same thing on this side. So on the left hand side on top, the first three blocks and fill that in with gold for the logo. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take out a ladder and on these corner three blocks, Bring the ladder three high on each piece of the corner. Same thing on this side. So three ladders there and three ladders there. Come down to the other side of the car and do the same thing. So a ladder on the outside and the inside. And same thing for that corner. Three ladders on the inside, three ladders on the outside. Now we come down on one side of the car with a jungle trap door. Place it one over and one up and close it just like that from the coupler and now you have your handbrake wheel. Now we're going to add just a bit more detail so come in with a birch sign and right above this wheel on the right hand side of the car place three birch signs and this just represents some more lettering. We come around the other side of the car and do the exact same thing so on the right hand side of the car starting right above the wheel three blank birch signs just to represent lettering. Now under the gold we place a birch button on the right hand two under the logo and this is just some more lettering. And now we come over to the other side and do the same thing so on the right hand side on bottom under the gold. And that's it we've completed a fairly standard gondola car. I've left it empty here, but you can feel free to fill it with whatever blocks you want. I've made this CSX version, but you can make it in any color that we have walls for. So thanks for watching the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there.